Well, in today's video, I'm gonna dig up another very dangerous below ground yellow jacket nest. It's not a very big nest, about the size of a mouse hole. You might not notice it if you're walking out there, but the yellow jackets are constantly going in and out. And if you go anywhere near, they will sting. This nest is pretty infamous. It's already stung over a dozen people. This area here is where farm workers come out and have lunch, and it's located right by the nest. Also, as you can see, there's a farmhouse with kids in the yard back there, and so this is a very good nest to remove. Now, I don't want the yellow jackets flying around and stinging people, so I'm gonna try to neutralize it before I dig it up. And to do that, I'm gonna pour soapy water down the hole, try to flood it, then we'll dig it up and take care of the nest. So let's mix up some soapy water, pour it down the hole, and then start digging. The soap works much better than just plain water. It acts as a surfactant and causes the yellow jackets to not be able to breathe. So I definitely recommend soapy water versus regular water. That looks good. Now let's go pour this down the hole. Okay, we'll start by completely flooding this nest. First, I'm gonna open up the hole slightly. They're wanting to pour out of there. A few of them got out. Now I'm gonna to start to dig, and as I see more yellow jackets, I'm gonna add more soapy water. But so far it's really working for keeping them contained underground. There they are. It's yellow jacket nest soup. There it is. And there you have it, probably one of the easiest ways to deal with a yellow jacket nest. If you find it, even come back at night, mix up some soapy water, pour it down the hole. Sometimes it takes a couple of five gallon buckets to really flood it if the ground soaks up that water. But if it's close to the surface, that yellow jacket nest will be completely neutralized. They'll drown pretty easily. So it's a great method for dealing with yellow jacket nests. If it doesn't work, you might have to dig it up later. But for starters, I just pour some soapy water down the hole. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 900 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, and lately I've been doing a lot of yellow jacket and bald face hornet removals, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have a mouse problem, please consider clicking the link in the description and purchasing one of the mouse traps I invented. It's called the Dizzy Dunker Mousetrap and I consider it to be the greatest mousetrap ever made.